Yo, what's up? This is Dick and welcome back to another video. So today we are making this and like, let me show you how did I make this exactly. So first of all, I'd like to start with a black background because it just gives off a great start, honestly. And then I place my text and like have it positioned so I know what I'm doing. It's just an overview of the composition that I'm going to be working with, you know. First thing, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is do the fucking repeating technique, bro. I hate it, but I still do it for the most part because it it looks cool i can't lie bro um then i get textures from that 40 subscriber pack that i use for the most part then i place it over top of the composition and set it to linear dodge it's just trial and error for the most part then i add those paper corner textures because these small elements are gonna add up and make a huge impact in the later part of the art so i gotta make sure i add those elements from the very start so i gave it drop shadows added new texture over the top made this color look red but it wasn't working honestly and i did what i usually do in most of my designs i usually take a lighting brush and like spread it over the text so like it doesn't look very boring and it looks it, it just have a certain like grungy texture over the top which like looks cool honestly so now i wasn't happy with the skull how it was looking so i tried searching for a new skull and i ended up with this one so i used curve adjustment layer sliders up and down i don't know what that does honestly but it just made it look cool and it worked i also decreased the opacity of that i'm different from so it doesn't look much distracting so now i found this brand here type of stuff from a gfx pack and uh, then i put it behind the skull and like it really looked cool honestly it gave a direction to the whole design since i don't want it to look very generic i kind of put a rectangle over the top so it like looks very differentiative i don't know what it's i don't know how to express this but i just don't want it to look very generic now at this point i can see where this design is going so what i did was i tried adding much more elements to it i don't know what i was gonna do with that but yeah I made a square below and then i made a rectangle type of shape above the text and then i fixed the text as well to like make sure all the elements are perfectly aligned i also tried giving it a very techno like thing because i really like a 2d elements okay so like i wanted to implement something uh, related to that in that art so finalize the whole composition once again i played around with cc levels and then like give it a final effect by like adding a camera raw filter over it and and yeah that's really it honestly that's how you make a cover art like this one to for your music i guess i don't know